Hey guys, it's uh, Jay McCorvich XGC here with a tutorial on the best render settings that you can get for your Cinema 4D animations. Um, this is for Minecraft animations. Don't know how well it will go with any other like animations, but this is what I use for my Minecraft animations. I've seen other people use the same, so obviously it means that they're good. And I will just show you them. Didn't want that up. Damn it! I just close it down. Needed that up. Um, I'm just gonna get any random picture, then I'm just gonna like show you the render settings of what you're gonna need. Right, uh, let me just open a quick file. Um, if I find, I had a really good one. Where is it? It was called Her No, it's not. It's freezing. What are you doing? Stop freezing on me. Uh, I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Yeah. Um, now I've got to pick a good frame. Yeah, this is Sarah Brine intro for my movie that I make. That I've made. Well, I haven't made yet, but I've made the intro to it. This is the intro, yeah. I'll probably... Probably do it there. So, what you want to do is you want to click this button here, which is Render Settings. And you want to go, make sure this is on Standard. You're going to go to Output. Hit this arrow here. Go across. And the one that I use is HDV, HDTV, 720, 29.97. You can use one below it. But I think this one's passion is the best. This one's got to be on HDTV 16.9, and you want to make sure this is on current. If this is for a picture, current frame. But if it's for the animation, all frames. So just for the picture, I'm gonna click current frame, and it does the frame that you want. Um, you want to go to save, and you want to go to. You want to get the QuickTime plugin. Basically, just download QuickTime, and then it will be on there. You probably should already have QuickTime, but yeah. You want to go on QuickTime PNG options. You want millions of colors. You want best. And then click OK. And then, well, model, nope. Yeah, you want to go to anti analyzing. Analyzing, or how do you ever spell it? You want to click on geometry, you want to change that to best. Max level to 2 times 2. Filter to PAL NTSC. And just leave that as how that is. Don't think you need to change anything on that. No. And then you're going to need two effects. One is called ambient occlusion, and the second one is called global illumination. On anti on ambient occlusion, you don't need to change any of this. And on global illumination, you want to go to general. You want to go to click this. You want to click same again. If you want a just a picture, you want to click. You want to click IR plus QMC still image. If you want an animation, you want to click not camera animation, you want to click full animation for an animation, but I'm going to click still image. And then you want to click sampling, you want to make everything low, so that's low, uh, evidence cache, low, least squares, minimum, so that's obviously the lowest, you don't click any of that. And that's what you're going to need from that one. Um, and also, what makes it like really good quality is if you add stuff like lights. So if I get a light and you want to add an array, drag the light inside the array, click the array, and then where is my array gone? Oh, I've got to drag it all the way up here. Just give me a second. I hate doing this. But basically this adds like really nice shadows and effects to the sort of at the animation sort of perspective. Damn I just lost it. No I didn't. It's there. It's fine. I got it. Yeah, it's got it. Like that. See I can't move because I got it on stage. Which means I just have to like destroy all my s my cameras and stuff. You want to get the radius and you want to put it inside the radius of the actual picture that you want. So I just want this which is 
there. So the radius is going to be about that big, and then you want the copies filling it until it's like about like that, and then you want to raise it up quite high above them, and then you want to go into the light, you want to change the color to like an orangey sort of page color, and then you want to get the intensity. I put that I put it to about 50, and then you want to keep that as Omni. And you want to click shadow and you want to click shadow map soft. And that's what I have mine as. And then it may take a while to render the image, but it's definitely worth it because it is bang tidy. Let me just see how sexy this looks. Oh, that's just my. Damn it, that's my um skin texture messing up. Let me just quickly do this. Uh, Hello brain, where's Hello brain? Hello brain, it's Hello brain. That's a really good song, actually. Yeah, there it is. All I have to do is just do that, and then Alpha. Same with this one. Where is it, Hello brain? Blah blah blah. So yeah, if you ever want to know how to fix your skins, <laughs> if they ever disappear, that's how you do it. Just go back to the color, load the skin again, go back to the Alpha. Load the skin again. Make sure speculate isn't ticked because speculate is gay. And get rid of that. That's got my Minecraft animation back. Yes. And you want to click that again. Nope. You want to click this one, which animates, which renders it to the picture viewer. And down here, go away. Down here. It was day. Do how long it was doing it. So I'm just gonna pause the video and then gonna come back once it is done. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is actually the finished product, and I think it's pretty sexy. Because you can see all the like the different shadows inside here. You can see all the shadows coming off of here, like, and it, that's also dark outside. You can also see nice glows coming off of the Herobrine, and it really does make texture packs, and it really does make it look a lot better. And I've also got some um, other pictures that I had made doing this so uh, this is my that one this was one I made for my friend where this evil dude's blowing up some TNT and he's about to save all the Um, that one that's gonna be a part of my new move my new animation the Herobrine um, you saw the trailer hopefully it's on my channel this is part of it it's got the Herobrine jump it's just a part of what it was going to be. So you might save. Um, this is the house that I done. I was built, and then I put a nice Sfax Pure BD texture pack on it, and then it's me waving. Hello. When you put these as your backgrounds, it does look proper nice. And then I got that's. This is my um intro to my Exile game and commentaries, my XGC. Um, yeah, you've seen that one, and see, this is what happens when, because I only put one light up here, I still had these dark places, so I put another light in there, another light in there, and that's what gave me a nice little sort of torch feeling in there, a nice little halm, halm, housey, homey little feel in there. Um, I did have some more. But I don't know where they've gone. Ah, here we go. Cave push. This is probably my best one that I made. I put a nice little thing down there to make it look like lava. This dude just punching himself off a cliff. Add that to my desktop. Um, what's this one? Fight scene. That's not on. Is there another one? Um, no, I think that's it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. But yeah, that is the best sort of. Well, that's my view of the best render settings. Comes out with sexy pictures like that. And. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Hope to see you on my next videos.